Hi, I'm Dawn, and I'm with the City of Wiley Senior Recreation Center. I'm here today to show you how to make a breakfast casserole using tater tots. This casserole is pretty easy to make and has just six ingredients. You'd need two pounds of bacon, eight eggs, a packet of ranch seasoning mix, two cups of cheddar cheese, a two pound bag or 32 ounces of tater tots, and two cups of milk. The first thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you'll want to prepare your baking pan. We'll be using a 9 by 13 inch baking pan and you can either grease it with butter or use a cooking spray for that. The next step is to go ahead and put our ingredients together. I went ahead and cooked the bacon and I've been chopping that up into pieces that will be easy to mix together with the other ingredients. So in a bowl, I've already put in the tater tots. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheddar cheese and then I'm gonna put all this wonderful bacon on top. Now I just need to mix that up and we'll give it a good stir to get the ingredients all mixed together. I'm going to go ahead and add these ingredients into our baking dish. You simply dump it in and then you'll want to make sure that you use your spoon to go ahead and flatten it out a little bit so that it's in an even layer. Once that's done, we can go ahead and prepare the egg mixture. Now I'm ready to put the final ingredients together, and I'm going to go ahead and use this same bowl. You don't need to clean it out or anything because we've used it for the other ingredients. I've gone ahead and put seven of the eight eggs in. I'm going to go ahead and crack this last egg. And then to that I'm going to add two cups of milk. and my packet of ranch seasoning mix. Now I simply need to just whisk it together. And I wanna make sure I get it good and stirred together so that that ranch mix flavors the whole mixture that we're gonna pour. Once it's combined, We simply need to pour it over the casserole. Be a little bit careful and try to get it all over so that it soaks in good in all of the corners. Once that's done, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And now it's ready to go ahead and put into our oven. This will bake for 50 to 60 minutes, and you'll know when it's done because the eggs will be set. Some other variations that you can try with this recipe are, instead of using bacon, you could use it with either ham or sausage, or even a combination of meats. You could also put chopped yellow onion in it or bell pepper. All you have to do now, put it in the oven, and once it's done, you'll have a wonderful breakfast with your family.